How many movies about space have you seen? One? Five? Twenty? There are over 50 movies that have been made about space, each with a mission of its own. They give us a feeling of eeriness and thrill while we watch them. We get so immersed in these movies as if we were going on these space missions with the astronauts themselves. Most of these movies, if not all, usually present NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, as the space agency that carries out the missions in the plot of these movies. And whenever we talk about space, we all undoubtedly think about NASA without really having to give it a second thought. Welcome back to this channel everyone. Today we will take a look at the NASA spacecraft that touched the sun for the first time. We see the sun every day, but yet we don't know anything about it. But this new achievement will change that all. If you like today's video topic, make sure to like this video and watch till the end to find out how NASA achieved this. How it all began A little over 60 years ago, NASA was created to understand the planets, stars and sun in space. They had an understanding back in 1958 that the sun did behave in a certain way. And after years of planning, they achieved the first ever entry into the sun's atmosphere. The spacecraft, called the Parker Solar Probe, was created and launched in 2018. And after three years on the 28th of April, 2021 has finally reached the sun's atmosphere, known as the Corona after eight flybys around the sun, making it the first spacecraft to enter the sun's atmosphere. This project was announced in the year 2009. The cost of the whole project is around $1.5 billion. There were studies done in the 1970s and 1980s that stressed the importance of researching more into the solar system and getting physical proof and data to support the theories that were always researched theoretically. There was a need to build a spacecraft and probes, but due to how much it cost, the plans were always postponed. The laboratory of applied physics at John Hopkins University was the one who designed and built the spacecraft. The Parker Solar Probe crossed the alpha and critical surface, which is between the end of the solar winds and the beginning of the sun's atmosphere. A major portion of this mission was for the solar probe to cross the alpha and point to be able to fly into the solar atmosphere. According to the solar probe's data, the spacecraft entered the corona atmosphere around three times on April 28th. Findings of Parker Solar Probe Within the corona atmosphere, the spacecraft took samples of the particles and magnetic fields in space. The samples taken by the Parker Solar Probe and the repetitive entry into the corona atmosphere resulted in the discovery of switchbacks, which are magnetic zigzag particles found in the solar wind and were found to be originating on the sun's surface. These magnetic particles were found in 2019 by the spacecraft and are common in the solar wind. However, how they're created and what other places they specifically are found in is still a mystery to NASA scientists. These particles have an impact on the solar system and having a deeper knowledge about this impact can help scientists understand the influence the sun has on the Earth. The main aim for this mission for NASA is to be able to trace the energy and heat moving through the solar corona atmosphere and also to be able to understand what increases the solar winds and the solar energetic particles. The size of the corona atmosphere depends upon the sun's activity, which has a pattern of increasing every 11 years. Another finding of the solar probe is that the outer boundary of the corona isn't smooth, but instead it's uneven and bumpy, jutting out in places. When the solar probe first entered the corona atmosphere, it stayed there for about five hours, where it gathered information about the solar wind and the magnetic fields. This was not the only time the spacecraft entered the corona atmosphere and will not be the last either, as there are more passages planned for the future with the next one expected to come up in January. The Parker Solar Probe The Solar Probe was named after Eugene Parker, who was the scientist who had first suggested that the Sun sent out a tiny stream of particles unseen to the human eye. He called this stream of particles the solar wind. Back then, when the pursuit of the knowledge of the solar system had just begun, people did not believe him, but it turned out that he was right. Fast forward to now, when we have the technology to prove such things right with scientific data and statistics. The spacecraft itself was able to make this tremendous feat and get so close to the sun due to the way it was built as well as the materials it was constructed with. The spacecraft can withstand the temperatures of more than 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat tolerant chemical materials used for the solar probe that make it so durable are sapphire, niobium, tungsten and molybdenum. 
The spacecraft, which is about the size of a small car, is protected from the sun by a 4.5-inch thick carbon composite shield, which is in front of the body of the spacecraft for protection. When it is the closest to the sun, it faces temperatures reaching up to 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe and heat shield have a layer of a white reflective alumina surface which minimizes heat absorption. Without this alumina surface layer, the probe would be destroyed and become non-functional within some seconds. Currently, the probe has completed its 10th approach to the sun on November 21st, coming the closest to the solar surface so far at 5.3 million miles away. The probe itself is covered with a thick foam that keeps it cool while it works near the sun. The solar probe flies at over 430,000 miles per hour and can go from the Earth to the Moon in under an hour, and from Washington DC to Philadelphia in a second. This constant movement with this high speed ensures that the craft doesn't face any heat damage. Future of Parker Solar Probe Even though the spacecraft has offered so much information already, there is still a lot of work that it needs to do. As planned by NASA, the Solar Probe will approach the Sun around 24 times and by 2025 it will be the closest to the Sun than it has ever been, which will be only around 3.8 million miles away from the Sun. A high level of solar activity is expected in 2025. Gaining more technical data from the samples from Corona will help scientists understand, as well as forecast extreme weather events in space that can damage the satellites around the Earth as well as cut off or disrupt communication between Earth and space. The solar winds ejected from the Sun's atmosphere have the ability to reach Earth, and scientists are trying to learn more about the solar phenomenons occurring millions of miles away. This can boost research being done into understanding other stars in space and how they can impact our solar system, because the Sun is the only star that scientists can study up close. They can use the information and data received by the Sun to understand how other stars behave. Learning about space and the learning achievements we have had is very exciting. Not only does our knowledge about the world around us grow, but we will know how to tackle unforeseeable natural disasters. And who knows, with enough technological advancement and preparation, we could even prevent the Earth from being destroyed. But hopefully it won't come to that. There were a lot of risks involved in sending this spacecraft to the surface of the Sun successfully, being that it had to function in a thermal environment. But NASA was successfully able to achieve that and more. If you liked this video and would like to watch more videos on topics like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you never have to miss out on any of our videos. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.